Are you ready for another beer review? Let's get going. Crux Fermentation Project, located in Bend, Oregon. Crux started in 2012. This is Crux Pills, a new Old World Pilsner. I believe it's a German style Pilsner. And here's the can with the Crux four way arrows and the name of the beer. This beer's been out for a few years now, at least. It may even be an original. There's a story on the back of the can that's also the same as a website. This is not your father's Pilsner. It's more like the Pilsner that belonged to his stern father, the one with all the rules, but who gave you treats whenever your parents weren't looking. Brewed with traditional Pilsner malts, import Czech saws, and local Oregon sterling hops, this Pilsner's first sip shows up with clean lager flavors, and then opens up with surprising complex and softness, developing biscuity flavors, spicy herbal notes, and a hint of lemon. This is the story right here. This beer is available all year round. A six pack of this costs on average $10. This has Pilsner malt, Czech saws, and Oregon strolling hops. There are a variety of Pilsner malts out there. There's American, there's Czech, German, British, and they're all just a little bit different because of the climate they're grown in, the soil, mineral content, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit toasted, and possibly some bread biscuity notes. Pilsner malt is a very pale straw color. Import Czech saws as opposed to domestic, primarily spicy, sometimes with a little bit of floral. Oregon sterling hops instead of European, those typically can give some fruity, woody notes, some earthy. None of these are none of these hops are high in alpha acid, so it's not going to be bitter. Body style for this should be light, perhaps medium. 5.2% alcohol, 35 IBU. Straw to a golden color. They could have some bready, crackery notes to them, a little bit of sweetness, flowery, floral, spicy. Light to medium body, light carbonation. The IBUs on them should range between 25 to 45. Since they are a lager, using lager yeast instead of ale yeast, they ferment at a cooler temperature and they take much longer to condition. With the lager yeast, there's usually three characteristics I get. Clean profile, crisp in the mouth, and bright. It is straw color. The foam is very thin, almost paper. There's no sediment at the bottom, nothing floating in it, no yeast or otherwise. I do not believe it's been filtered. I think what they did is used a high flocculating yeast. The lagering process will also help clarify it, in addition to kettle finings or cake finings and cold crashing the fermenter. All these things together help create clear beer. Very lightly carbonated, but look at the size of those bubbles. This is just a beautiful color. You can see right through it. I get a soft bouquet flowers, maybe a tickling in there of some bready notes, very gentle sweetness, a little bit of citrusy. They, they say lemon in here. All the aromas in this are very light. They're just gently tickling and teasing my nose. Coating in the mouth, top and bottom, everywhere. Gently brushing back and forth. Have lemony citrus, possibly toasted. There's some bready biscuity notes in there. It is light, closing in a medium body. Soft, lemony, biscuity, bready that just teases the inside of my mouth. Really nice. Lemony notes I'm tasting could either be from the lager yeast, because some lager yeast will create fruity ester compounds. It may also be the sterling hops. Touch of sweetness back there. This is not bitter or hoppy at all. I would almost say some tanginess in there. Very pleasant. There is a little bit of malt character peeking through. There may be hints of some herbal in there. That lemon flavor, lemon zest I get is just so nice. It's continuously sweeping everywhere in my mouth. Doesn't leave anything untouched. It stays there for just a little while teasing me, 
and then it slowly evaporates. But I'm not getting spiciness from the Czech saws. No candy. Not really getting toasted at this point. I'm not getting earthy or herbal aromas or flavors. For the lager characteristics, it does have a clean profile, possibly a little bit of crispness to it, not a whole lot, but it's not bright in the palate at all. This one is subtle, simple, there's not a lot going on, but what is there is so nice and very well done. So it loops up my mouth, coats everything top and bottom with lemon zest, baked bread, biscuity, just a touch of sweetness in there, gentle malt backbone, very subtle along with those bready notes. There may be some herbal peeking out somewhere back there. It still tastes light going into medium body. There is citrus notes and it's quite obvious and a slight touch of tanginess. I'm also getting some fruity notes. I, bl I believe those fruity notes are coming from the sterling hops and potentially from the yeast. Not getting spices from the Czech cause. No candy notes, no other fruitiness besides the lemon. Not noticing much earthy notes as just the herbal. No hop bite at all, not bitter. Again with those lager characteristics of crisp, clean, bright. Nice clean profile. Little bit crisp, not too much, not bright. Between the can and the glass, I can't tell the difference. They taste exactly the same. No metallic notes from the can, no diacetyl, buttery, no acetone, paint thinner, nail polish, no bandied flavors, rubbery, plastic, cidery, no astringency, no hot fuse alcohols. Will I buy this again? Without question. Excellent twist on a Pilsner. I really like this beer. Will I recommend it? Absolutely. German Pilsners don't quite have this much flavor to them. Definitely not this, are not the citrus forward. And they're a little more hoppy. Great flavor profile to it. There's not a lot of flavors going on. But what is there is solid, well-rounded, well done. They complement each other very well. I think this is an above average Pilsner. Crux Fermentation Project, Crux Pills, a new old world Pilsner. If you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, or questions about beer, send me a message. That's all I have for this review. If you like this video and found it informative, please like and subscribe. Cheers. Welcome back to oh, now. Now this is Crux Pills. And the, there are a variety of pills from all time. Those are known. They say that even Crux has been around. I don't want the keyboard to fuck me. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Again with those large. Ah.